Hello professionals, so automatic silence deletion in DaVinci Resolve has kinda sucked, but... Kinda sucked, but yeah, sound deletion in DaVinci Resolve is now frame perfect. Let's show you how to use it. Okay, so the new silence deletion tool from DaVinci Resolve actually is far better than their old version, but it doesn't mean that it's better at everything compared to DaVinci Resolve's previous silence deletion tool. So let's just compare how both these tools work and where their strengths and weaknesses lie. So to use the old transcription tool, you need to head up to the media pool, right click on the timeline you currently have open, go AI tools, audio transcription, transcribe. So this will take a little bit of time for DaVinci Resolve to transcribe. And when it's done, you'll get a transcription window that looks like this. And if you want to remove your silences, you can left click this little dot, dot, dot X thing here, and it will remove all the silences where there's nothing being spoken. But as many of you already know, when we go to hit play on this, you'll see, but yeah, sound delete. Yeah, it's jumpy. It's janky. You don't have any control over everything. And then more often than not, it's cutting words off too late or too early. There's just no finesse or control. But it does have a big advantage in that if you're working on something that's a very loud event or a podcast with a lot of background noise, this tool still actually works because it's deleting when there's no words being spoken, not when there's no true silence. And that's what this new DaVinci Resolve tool is. So in comparison, to use the new silence deletion tool from DaVinci Resolve, we first need to left click on the clips we wanna delete the silences from. I'm gonna go up to clip, audio operations, and ripple delete silence. And now you'll get this remove silence window show up and it's really straightforward to use. So basically here you can set the threshold for how quiet or loud something has to be before it's considered a silence. And so if we drag this down, you can see that even these tiny little waveforms aren't being selected to be deleted. And if we increase the threshold, you can see there, that it's now being chosen to be deleted. And this is super useful. So even I have a look here, I've got a little lip smack going on. Yeah, not very nice. So I can also just keep going up and bada bing, bada boom, it's clipped. And then we have the pre-head and post tail. And so what the pre-head's going to do is it's gonna take a look at the end of where your silences are. And you can say, how many frames back do you wanna cut? And then the post tail is the same thing, but on the other side. So if we increase this, you can see we get a little bit more tail room. And then the minimum to strip is how many frames of silence do we need before we consider deleting it at all? If I drag this all the way down, you can see there's this moment here where I'm having this slight pause for dramatic effect. Kinda sucked, but this is a silence I don't want to remove. This is something that's gonna help with the video. So I can increase this until I'm getting these thresholds that I prefer. So once we're happy with the silences we wanna delete, we can just hit remove. And sure enough, just like this, we've now automatically deleted those silences. And so ultimately, this is just a huge win for us to venture Resolve editors, not just because this is a huge time-saving tool, but it shows the direction Resolve is going in. They're not putting all their eggs into their neural engine basket, so, you know, their AI tools. It's just a huge breath of fresh air that one of the companies we like is actually creating more useful tools we can actually use to help save time and get our work done better at a higher quality, and not just riding on the AI hype train trying to market to whoever. So yeah, super excited to see what DaVinci Resolve comes out with next. And until next time, happy editing. Auto editing, everyone. <laughs>